it would be wonderful to see a body of people known as the body of Christ coming together in a harmony that is not made of man's harmony, but that is God's harmony. That is functions under the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Doesn't function under bylaws or some uh, set of rules that some a group of men established but how many know that the Bible is still good for us today? It was good for the early church. It is good for us today. Every rule, every condition, every condition that's in this earth today is in the Bible. You can find an answer for every dilemma that you go through. There is a place in the Bible to turn to. Uh, somebody said, I need to go to a psychologist because I'm just totally too depressed. Do you know there's an answer in the Bible? Yeah. Blessed be the Lord. Yeah. That most psychologists will reach into the Bible to get a word of wisdom to help a person and to help a child of God. A few weeks ago, uh, a few months ago, my wife passed away uh, in April of last year. And uh, the VA automatically sent me to a psychologist. I sat in the chair, and and uh, he sa he started talking to me. And I told him I pastored a church in Sebring. And he said, well, you know the grieving process. I said, yes, I do. I'm familiar with it. And he said, uh, he said well, you don't really need me, do you? And, and the reason he said that was is because he understands that the Word of God, a child of God, mm -hmm. has got Jesus Christ yes. to help him yes. in the yes. darkest hour. Yes. Blessed be the Lord. Yes. It doesn't matter how hard life is, thank God yes. he is still on the yes. throne yes. and he's still yes. able to equip, yes. equip the church and to lead the church out of darkness. Yes. Praise yes. the name of God. Yes. But you know, even among the church, there's division. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Even among the church system, uh, among the church, there is division among what we treasure as the body of Christ. Can I say it? I'll say it softly. What which we uh, cherish as the body of Christ, there's division. Isn't there? There's division. There's one trying to be ahead of, of somebody else and another one trying to be the head of this one and another one trying to be the head of that one. And ministers are trying to uh, 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 gather churches under, under their umbrella to where they can say that they're apostles and they're leaders and they're big shots and they're, uh, you know what that to me is? That's politics. That is not God's way. If God, see, if God, puts a man under a minister, it'll be God doing it. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord. Absolutely. Hallelujah. It won't be because the law is set up or a bylaw is set up or because a person is rigidly made uh, to, to serve. Uh, it won't be done that way. It'll be done by the covering of the Holy Ghost. And he won't have to say a word. Blessed be the Lord. Amen. The church can still be led by the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. But there's a division. Now here, I want to just... Uh, I want to throw you these blocks out here. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. You ready for these blocks? Yeah. Eighth verse, Sister Marcia. Yeah. The eighth verse. It, it, the, here he said, finally, he, and here he was. Now, he brought this setting. I, I gave that setting of how he brought this, submitting of the slaves and the wives and the husbands. He started dealing with that. And then the eighth verse, he stopped. And he said, finally, be you all. Now that's more than just that group, isn't it? That's, it. that's not an isolated group. That's all. all right, is everybody listening to me now? Not, not, I'm not dealing with this uh, one segment or another segment, but he was speaking to all. And he, he said, he said, be you all of one mind. Everybody say that with me. One mind. One mind. One mind. And do you know that one mind uh, that one mind is a harm is translated uh, to have unity of the spirit. One mind have one focus, one purpose, one direction. Blessed be the Lord. You know, even in a church service, that is so important. 
that when we come together in a church service, that we all have one mind and one purpose. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Not yeah. a segment over here saying we should do this, or a segment over here saying do that, or a segment over here doing that, but there is one mind. There is going to be a church or a body here in this last day that's going to represent the latter rain church that is going to be in one mind in the upper room experience in the second chapter of the book of Acts that was one of the criteria that God demanded or set in order that they were to be in one mind. Blessed be the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, that, uh, uh, that alone, I hope you excuse my electronic Bible, but that's what I use. Uh, but that one mind, or translated in unity, is working together for a common goal or of spreading the gospel. That should be the goal of the church, isn't it? Yes. It should be to spread the gospel, not to be recognized. Not I'm not standing up here to be recognized because that's not our purpose. That's not the purpose of the church. The purpose of the church should be to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. After all, it's not my ministry, it's Christ's ministry. Yes. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I am nothing except Christ used me. Blessed be the Lord. And in fact, I'm still nothing when Christ uses me. Because it's not my message, it's His message. When it becomes my message, it is no longer in Christ, but it's in man. Praise the name of the Lord. So, should we seek one mind? We should seek one mind. We should seek one purpose. You know, that has to come from the heart. It has to come from the very inner solar plexus of your spirit. There has to be a passion for Christ's ministry. Blessed be the Lord. There has to be a passion to see Christ's work progress and go on. Praise the name of the Lord. And God's plan being fulfilled for this dispensation and for this hour. Blessed be the Lord. It'll take one mind. Praise God. One purpose. Praise the Lord. For God to come in this church and bless this church from the bottom to the top, we're going to have to be in one mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Leave our opinions behind. You might have one opinion and I have another opinion, but guess what? Jesus has another opinion and it's his opinion that matters. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's a stepping stone. Wouldn't you say that's a stepping stone to unity? How many would like to see the church together? Praise God in one purpose. One God. Oh, blessed be the Lord. Not one segment over here, one segment over here, one church over here. A church of Bradenton, uh, the church of Avon Park, uh, the, the church of, uh, uh, of any other uh, the, uh, church uh, that, that might be represented here. It doesn't matter. If we do it in Christ Jesus, blessed be the name of the Lord. And what caused those folks uh, in that early dispensation, early church, uh, to be together is because they had a care one for another. Praise the Lord. They had a care for one for another. It doesn't matter. Let me just say this to you. You might say it one way. I say it another way. It's just like music. Uh, music, uh, one instrument plays uh, a certain key and another instrument plays another key. Uh, but when it's all said and done, it brings a perfect harmony. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And after all, well, listen, I'm getting too old uh, to go through the grindstone and keep grinding. It's time that we find the will of God for the church in this hour, in this dispensation. Hallelujah. And here we are. We're struggling. Each one of the assemblies, the camp assemblies, and, and, the, and the assemblies, we're struggling. We're struggling in our own area, in our own uh, location. But praise God. Do you know what? 
We need to be so harmonious that I can feel your struggles here in Sebring, Florida. And you can feel the struggles here in 